What's good, AODG Lockdown Gang in the building? First and foremost, glory to God for another day. Thank you for allowing us to do what we love to do today. I'm going to give you about three, maybe four reasons why I believe the 6 7 lockdown builds, PG lockdown builds, or shooting guard lockdown builds are the best lockdowns in 2K. I'm going to give you number one is they have best of all traits what i mean by that is that they have the height being six seven having a longer wingspan and they have the speed of a six six guard and they have the ability to get certain animations uh badges um it's just they get the jack of all traits they can do damn near everything everything like this build right here is 6'7 PG, and he's only a 7 72. No money spent build, but this build is disgusting. He's disgusting. Like the things I'm able to do with the limitations that I have is is mind blowing. And I can't wait to get him to where I want him to be. So then he can be even a bigger threat and he can even be of a bigger problem. And it's probably be my funnest, most favorite build I've ever made. I could have changed something up with the uh, the three-point shooting, but I said it is what it is. <clears throat> and then number two is that it makes it harder for smaller guards to get open and score the bucket when you have a taller guard guarding you that's faster, that can move laterally, and that can contest, and that's stronger, and all the above. He can make it difficult for these dribble gods to get a bucket. That's real talk. His 6'7 is, 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 is goading. It's like his ability to have longer wingspan and to be faster and taller is is damn near unfair for real it is and don't get me wrong there, there are some limitations with it but the fact that it gets a lot of stuff and then if you get certain bad just think about it if you get any takeover you're going to get plus five to your uh physicals so now you're going from an 88 to a 93 to a 91 acceleration when they get takeover so now you six seven and you're faster taller bigger it's just it's just a new way not only are they good for lockdowns they're good for everything dunking shooting defense playmaking these pills can do everything and they're the new meta of 2k this six seven glitch you go into the rack you're gonna play a lot more six sevens you go to the park you're gonna play a lot more six sevens you go to the 1v1 you're gonna play a lot more six sevens these six sevens are the new meta of 2022 2k and you're gonna start seeing more and more of these builds coming out because they just can do everything like they becoming the new six seven power forwards to be honest with you those six seven power forwards from 21 this is what 2K22 is looking like with the 6'7 PG, 6'7 uh, small uh, shooting guards. Like, they they are becoming like the the meta. The, 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 well, they are the meta, but they're becoming like those power forwards of last year to be able to dunk, shoot, play, make, and play defense and have great physicals. You can't beat that. If you're not playing center... Why are you playing any other, anything else but a 6'7"? Either you 6'7 or 6'9s. The 6'9s or the 6'7s are the two most used builds in NBA 2K22. I truly feel like the 6'7 is better because it gets more things than the 6'9 when it comes to movement. But if you get a 6'9 and you get the right badges on there, that can be a problem too. I may make a 6'9 lock, uh, no money spent, and just get out there and just dominate with max wingspan uh, and all that stuff and just be 6'9", uh, cooking a small forward, 6'9", just out there playing defense and put on a double lock that's going to in the juice badge that's going to give me plus 20 to my speed. I may do that because that build like that is, is a cheat code, but, but with the 6'7", you don't have to do that. It's it's just a really great build, and I, I and and I know why they they people use them because they can do everything, and, and when it comes to the defensive side, by far one of the best, longer wingspan, 
more athletic, more faster, even the same lateral quickness, 99 speed, I mean not 99 speed, 99 steals, 97 lateral quickness, 80 block, you can get rebounded on the build, you can give it, the build is dope, that's all I got for y'all today, I truly feel like 6.5s are okay, but they're short, and they don't get away with a lot of stuff sometimes in this game, but they're, they're still cool, they're not bad, they're not bad at all. They're good builds. They're really good builds. But the 6-7 is the GOAT. If I had to name the best, and you just come from a lockdown, the best lockdown build to make in this game is the 6-7. Because the 6-5 is faster. It gives you some things, but it's shorter. The 6-9, the 6-10s, they're, they're, they're taller, but they're slower. So to get the best of the bang for your buck is a 6-7 because you're getting the speed and the height. You can't beat that, y'all. You can't beat that. Y'all let me know in the comments below what build is the best lockdown build in your opinion and what lockdown build do you have? 6-5, 6-1, 6-2, 6-9, 6-6. Let me know. It's your boy, Bang Live Life, Trish. Let's rock and one of the best without God. Life and PMS. Always remember to have faith, hope, and love. I'll see y'all later. Peace.